Okay, we're back. We're As back. promised, we're talking about vintage glass bottles that uh, a lot of the stuff, well, they were thrown out and we just happened to have a few kicking around. So, um, okay, so uh, you're going right in there showing the, <laughs> what, that's the orange crush, right? Yeah. Uh, brown bottles, or they call it amber. Well, I don't even have to guess. This says, this bottle protects the fresh fruit flavor from the harmful effects of light. So, um, Orange Crush, nice, pretty. This is probably, I think this one is from about the 1940s. Yeah. Looks we like have it. Hires, mm -hmm. made with roots, barks, and herb. It's like nature in a bottle since 1876. Um, we have reason to believe our very barbaric research tells us it's about 1950, mid 50s or so. Um, so this is old. This is, uh, oh geez, I can't even tell. I don't know. I can't, made by hires. Yeah, I was going to see if I could see where it was printed, but I can't right now. Uh, a few more cola bottles. Ooh. Um, well, this one is Double Cola. Now, this company, um, originated or headquartered at a Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, However, they did that. have, I, I've read that they had, um, processing or manufacturing and distribution facilities, like, throughout the U.S. Oh, really? and Canada. Yeah. yeah, this one is actually from Montreal. So, this oh. one, I believe, yeah, this is pre-1960. Yeah. I read somewhere that at the time around 1960 when this size was out it was the tallest bottle of pop you could really? get for a oh, nickel wow. you could get for a nickel oh uh, yeah mm -hmm. yeah now there is a fly here and if we're stealthy it'll go in a bottle and we'll catch it <laughs> live on film yes so uh this is an old one probably from around 1960 or the late 50s and it might okay. be a fly trap and there might be a fly trap now yeah mason jars i mean we could talk well no if we knew enough about it we could talk about mason jars forever in a day um i'm passing this one to you yeah. so of course they're used for you know doing preserves which most people don't do anymore but there's lots of patterns on them and they had the glass on the center top where they'd seal them there was a a rubber ring inside yeah. But, you know, there's there's severe collect or serious collectors of these. It's yeah. based on the crown and, how you know, the names on it and how many dots around crowns. Yeah. A lot of these can be worth a heck of a lot of money. Right. So these are very, very old ones. And there's different, you know, variations of the crowns and names. And they're different tints, too. Like well, this and, is, yeah. yeah, that one has like a... A greeny tint. Green it. tint. But while we're on that topic, here, these ones are a little newer. Yeah. But, but they're also, I mean, you know, they're not yeah. that new. But you can see the difference in the Everything. tints yeah. as well as these. So yeah. on these ones. And these ones say uh, uh, 633... And I can't even read what the fancy font says, but a uh, little newer, but still kind of old. So, yeah. all right. Now it's interesting. I don't think they do this too much anymore. Um, they just have single purpose oh, bottles. Yeah. So these ones actually have some words etched right in it. You yeah. happen to have, oh, she's got acid, handle with care. What's yeah. this say? Um, FEMI. Yeah, so this is uh, this is a Canadian company, and there's a line right on it where you can't, you know, put your asset higher than that. FEMI, F-E-M-I of Canada, and uh, yeah, handle carefully. So you have the cork in the top of them, right? Yeah. Now this one was a screw top, and this one uh, is made by New Joy. The company name is right in the back. There is a paper label on here. Now this is uh, mineral oil. It yeah. says. For relief of constipation. How you doing? I mean, you showed up with this empty, so. I'm fine, thank Are you, you okay? <laughs> She's okay. All right, so. That was good drinking. I um, mean, New Joy, beautiful font. I love it. This says it's 16 fluid ounces. I don't know what that is in metric. Who cares? Um, I mean, this is probably from the 50s to 60s, yeah. so. Yeah, I don't know, I, constipation, whatever. Okay, I happen to know mm -hmm. that we got this one in Nova Scotia in 1984. 
um, right. when we were out there. But anyways, I got it. I thought it was cute. Um, you know, it's a, it's a nice green Coca-Cola bottle. Coca-Cola, I think is the biggest brand in the world, but it changes from Lego and McDonald's and Apple, but I mean, this is definitely the longest standing one. So yeah. Coca-Cola, I don't actually drink pop. I don't either. I don't think you do either. No. Okay. No, I don't. All right. Um, we used to get our, we did sometimes too, yeah. oh. um, up in North Bay. So this one yeah. is a milk bottle, milk jug. Mm -hmm. It used to be delivered to people in the morning, right yeah. from right the door milk man. Yeah. Um, this is Oakville Dairy, mm -hmm. the standard of quality from Oakville, Ontario, for people who are watching this are from Canada, and I know we have lots of people yeah. who are not. Oakville is slightly west of Toronto. Yeah. Um, and you used to be able, they used to have like cardboard Ooh, yeah. caps on them with a waxy finish that were also mm -hmm. branded to the company. So you'd pop those out and people used to collect those too. They used to have collector's tops yeah, on them. Yeah, so true. this is a nice, beautiful uh, milk jug. These aren't overly valuable, but they're just kind of collectible and neat. Yeah. And they tell a story. People usually display these with uh, either white cotton balls in them or white little um, Marble static shirt, electricity. Shirt. What are those little styrofoam balls? Oh yeah. Anything yeah. white. Yeah. yeah. If you have white marbles. Yeah. I've lost my marbles. <laughs> so that's how they show. They show very nicely. Yeah. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I have to say what this is? What's this? Huh? Huh? Oh my. Heinz ketchup. Oh, and if you thought this is probably from. I mean, I still remember them making glass ones, but yeah. um, I don't know if they have this edging on it. This one's probably from the 60s. Yeah. And then if you owned a restaurant, you might have had a Heinz ketchup bottle that was a little bigger. Because it's also says Heinz on it. So there's yeah. a big glass jug. What is this? This is a, a gallon, 160 fluid ounces. So yeah. A lot it's, of lugging. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to let you put those down over there somewhere. Alrighty. Now, when we're talking about big jugs. <laughs> that lets me out. Oh. They came in different colors as well. And again, uh, the color was to protect what was inside. Yeah. And what could have been inside these? What did we talk Sometimes about earlier? cider. Yeah. Came vinegar. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think something else would come in them as well, but... Anyways, very cool. I mean, we used to see these around as kids here yeah. and there. Oh, now this one is super, super thick. It's, you could put that one down. Mm -hmm. uh, this one will probably show, you know, old glass, generally you can tell there's that seam on it. I don't know if it's gonna show here necessarily. You kind of see the line there where the seam goes together. Now, I mean, there are sneaky places that do reproductions. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, those are usually, you can feel the, the bump on them where they're, yeah. they're, they sort of fuse together. But the old ones um, were pretty good in that it was very seamless when they were fused together. So I'll let you take that big one. Now, I've saved the best two for last. Okay. Okay, I'm reaching down, I'm coming back, reaching down. We oh. have these two here. Would you like to hold yes. one? So these are um, very old, of course, and they would have had um, the wax stuff and or a cork up here. These bottles were designed, I and mean, this is the way bottles used to be um, designed. They were called torpedo bottles, torpedo yeah. shapes. Um, and before they realized that you could put gas in bottles to you know, keep things uh, preserved, whether it was medicine or soda or pop, as, Canadians would call it. Um, yeah, they didn't They didn't figure that out until, well, by 1914, they stopped making this one. Um, this is the Townsend Salford. So um, it's beautiful green, they lie on their side and you can tell they're just unevenly finished. And uh, you can see the bubbles in there cause they're all, you know, they're hand blown, definitely. Well, I'm not sure if they're hand blown cause I see seams on them. I could be wrong on that. But I mean, they're just definitely like, you know, an artisan definitely fuses together. Like this yeah. was not made by, uh, this wasn't machine made. I mean, look at it, you can see it's uneven. So these tops, if you want to hold yours up. Yeah, this, I was going to say, this one has a funny little line in it. Yep, like, you know. these tops are, and they're all uneven. Yeah, and I'll okay. try holding, let's switch. Yeah. I'll put this one up. These tops, you can see they're all uneven. Yeah. They're called blob tops. Yeah. I like that name. 
Now, father found this one as a young boy. This one is larger, it's unmarked. Yeah. I've never actually, you know, I mean, been able to prove anything, but my research has always told me that this one is from somewhere around 1870. So, yeah, you know, probably, he, was, yeah. he was pulling the team of horses and plowing the Plowing field, fields, and yeah. he found this in the dirt. So, yeah. 1870, we've had this since forever. This one is actually, it's got a little bit of, you know, this is where it was, I guess, laying in the dirt. But, right. um, yeah. I mean, it's in wonderful condition. No cracks, chips, crazing no. flea bites. So, yeah. um, beautiful, interesting. I mean... Yeah, it's got the, um, like this little line here, you can see where it's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, how cute would this be just to have your little drink or your medicine or whatever <laughs> it is? So, to... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's probably better that they, you know, reconfigured things and developed the technology so that they stand on their yeah. own. But still just a little interesting yeah. journey yeah. through our um, somewhat limited but interesting enough, I hope, yeah. journey of glass yeah okay so two classy losses with glasses yes i don't know okay have fun take care okay bye